Okay, and then let's get to the final game. Cowboys and Giants. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed at how awful the Giants were. I expected this to be a game. I expected to see, I don't know, something from Daniel Jones. You know, there was, there was so much hype. There was so much hype when it came to Daniel Jones. When it came to, oh my God, he's gotten so much better in training camp and preseason. And to come into this game and to lay an egg as bad as you did. And then also the offensive line not improving at all. Evan Neal hasn't improved. The only good guy is Andrew Thomas yet again. It's just terrible. Darren Waller, now he's on the injury report again. With I think it may have been a hamstring. Oh, my gosh. This is just an abomination. Saquon didn't do much against the Giants. I mean, against the Cowboys. It was one of the most egregious performances I've ever seen from a team. But you have to tip your hat for the Cowboys because they dominated that game from start to finish. They put a hat on Daniel Jones. They sacked him like seven times. It was an absolute domination, the likes we haven't seen in some years. 40 to 0? Donut? You couldn't score a field goal? Not one? And it's so crazy because the first drive, right? The Giants were moving down the field really well. And then I I think um Daniel Jones did he muff the muff the uh the snap or something like that? I think he may have did, and that would have been and I think that was third down. And then fourth down came around, block field goal for a touchdown. And I was I was in the living room, family room area, watching the game. I was like, Don't tell me that's gonna be like the play that decides the game. And it was. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh my God, don't tell me that's going to be the play that sort of just um, sets the tone for the game. And it literally did. 40-0 to zero is egregious. Like the, the, the Dallas offense didn't even have to do much because they were always like in good territory because the defense played really well. They were able to make sure that the, the Giants offense was held at bay. So Dak Prescott didn't have to really do much. He, all he had to do was just manage the game and not um, lose the game for his team. And that's really what it was. I will, And it sucks because I had CD on my fantasy team, and CD didn't have to do much because the defense was so dominant, was so good, and the Giants' offense was so pathetic, so egregious, that CD was on cruise control. He could just chill for the most part. And that's what they literally did. I was highly disappointed with the Giants. I sp- <laughs> all that Daniel Jones hype. I haven't heard much from um them, them Daniel Jones fans besides the fact that oh the protection. Oh my God, he's running for his life. Like they always have excuses for Daniel Jones, and you know part of that is true. But at the same time, it's never Daniel Jones' fault. It's always. It's always, oh, it's the receivers. It's the offensive line. You know what I mean? It's the play calling. It's never Daniel Jones' fault. It is what it is. Boom.